Hello everyone, I'm Pipatch and welcome back to Fray and Bow. Now, before we actually jump back into the gameplay, I wanted to give you a bit of an update because I've actually been working on those translations that I said I would. Um, unfortunately though, it's been, well, parts of it have been a bit more difficult than I was expecting. Um, now, <laughs> the, the main part of it is what you can see up on the screen here, which is the written, it's a Thurston text. So uh, any of the writing that you see throughout the game that, that Fran can't read uh, is actually quite easily translated. Uh, when I actually first started looking at it, I think I kind of jumped the gun a little bit and um, and started looking at, um, as you can see here, all the, all the different letters, thinking maybe I could swap those out and it'd be some kind of code or something or other. But it's actually super simple. All these letters here are just uh, exchanged out for the alphabet uh, in order as well. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. Uh, sorry, I'll have my mouse up for a little bit so you can see what I'm pointing to. But um, so that's super easy. Uh, the only thing is these last two are extras. Um, of course, it's 26 letters in the English alphabet. Now, uh, I ha don't I don't think I've actually seen those two letters pop up in any of the texts that I've looked at. I could be wrong because some of them are a bit messy and scrawled, um, but I don't think I've seen them. I I saw um, in a discussion uh, somewhere that uh, someone suggested that they might be extra letters um, from the the native language the native language of uh, the game producers, which makes sense to me. Um, I don't think I've seen them pop up anywhere, so who knows. So I'm going to go through and just show you quick translations of everything uh, that I found so far. So um, let's have a look. Number one is, of course, the sign um, out the front of the, the castle, out of the throne room. Um, and it says almost exactly what the bug says it is it's basically a shortened version of what he says uh it says first here um power is understanding of wisdom uh there are a few um typos in it so it's actually it actually says understanding o wisdom um but i have a point on that later <laughs> uh then it's got truth uh lays in path to understanding or understanding uh wisdom comes silently so that's pretty much what the the guy said in the first place uh this here says a thurster as you could probably guess um this clock here uh, it's super blurry so difficult to read but you can pick out some uh these are actually uh a bit all over the place but uh those are definitely like numbers i'm pretty sure it's just uh one two three so on that looks like five and six to me uh, they're a bit messy but it's basically just a, a clock uh, next, this was the puzzle um, that we solved back in uh, the sister's house. Um, and just having a look back through my videos, I noticed some uh, Thurston writing here. This translates to Master Eye, uh, which is interesting. I can only imagine that perhaps this symbol down here is the Master Eye, or um, I don't know. Maybe we, maybe I haven't paid. Maybe there was something about it earlier on that I need to go back and have a look at, or maybe something to do with the master eye hasn't popped up yet. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, this one, the clockmaker's sign, was actually is actually a little bit tough. Um, there are some letters that are super super obvious, like uh, this here. These two here are C. Um, this one here to me looks like a K. So I'm pretty sure it says clockman. But in all honesty, some of them are a bit tough. Like this one's a little bit indistinct and this one is too. Um, not to mention some of the letters um, uh, when written in like handwriting can uh, look like others. For example, I believe it's G looks a lot like um, AI as well. So it's sometimes difficult to tell which is which, especially when it translates into potentially not English. So uh, this one here, uh, the coin says a thirster up the top and honestly, not sure what this says. I can tell that the first letter is I, but I'm not sure what this is or what this is. Um, this one here could be a letter five and then an I again, but this looks like a divided by symbol and there's nothing similar to that in the alphabet. Maybe I'm just having trouble reading it, who knows? 
Uh, we've got the sign over here on the outside of the club. It says dance, music, drinks. Super easy. Very nice. Um, at the front, I had to go to Winter to be able to see it because he's usually covering it up. But that's the um, blacksmith's place and it just says Smith above the door. Nice and easy. Um, and now, okay, so this is the numerology book. Uh, well, the, the numbers page in the in the wizard's book. Uh, this says numeric system study of tens, which is nice. Now, <laughs> this is where things get difficult. You can see um, at the top of this page here, we've got um, uh, pretty easy, just one, two, three, four, five. Super simple. Um, the thing is, with the rest of these, some of the letters are super easy to pick out. Uh, for example, this here is the letter X. You've got the letter, uh, is it M or N, that one? I always get them mixed up. That's M. Um, and so on. But when I actually write it out, it, uh, it is just about meaningless. I, it's, it's um, just... It seems to be gibberish to me, but the problem is, is that enough of the letters I I can't decipher that I can't begin to put it through like ciphering techniques and stuff like that. Like for all I know, it could just be a Caesar cipher and be really easy to translate, but I, I don't know what enough of the letters are that I can't put it. It's, it, there's just not enough there for me to work with. But you can also see that um, this section here is repeated. So you see this line is repeated again down here and repeated over here and repeated up here. So it's just the same paragraph over and over again. I'm thinking it's likely they maybe just wrote out gibberish and copy and pasted to make it full like it look like it's full of notes. Um, but then again, it could mean something that I just am not, I, you know, I'm, I always feel like there's more that I'm not seeing. Um, but it's similar on the rest of these pages. So, for example, uh, well, this one is super easy. It says Tras uh, Traxa, T-R-A-K-S-A. -A. Uh, not sure what that could mean. Um, then again, I also didn't run this particular one through Google Translate, so it could mean something there. We've also got over here, this says, I believe, OCAB or OAB and CAN. Um, and I think it might be this one. Uh, it says... Uh, I a heel or something. It's it's just all very, very messy and difficult to decipher. This one, super easy, easiest ones of all of them. It says, says heart, which throws me off because so many of them seem to translate into gibberish, except for this one, which is just actually words. This one here says Eskama, E-S-K-A-M-A. -A. You've got um, this uh, kind of cultist page here. Now this... Uh, is very easy to determine uh, what it translates to. Once again, it's not translating into English, so part of my mind was thinking maybe it translates into something that needs to be decoded once again. I've, trust me, been looking at it for ages and can't figure out what it could possibly be. I've been putting it through lots of different types of ciphers and I can't quite figure it out. It doesn't seem to translate uh, into any other languages. Uh, it could be nothing. It's just catching on my brain that why would they make it so clear and translatable if it translated to nothing. Um, what else? We've got this page here, um, which this kind of translates uh, into letters again, but once again, it's just kind of gibberish. Uh, and then we've got this page, the foot page that we found in, um, in Itwood's Flying Machine. Um, now I can actually translate some of this. Um, at the top, it is pretty much here says foot therapy. Uh, therapy spelt with an I instead of a Y though, which is a little bit odd. Uh, this here is a little bit funky, but uh, just filling in the blanks, I think it says why is the feeling gone? which is odd, but fun. Uh, this here says, uh, I believe, Itwood Foot Care, except um, Itwood is spelt with an X instead of a W. Uh, now the rest of it seems, the little few little pieces that I can pick up on seem to be gibberish again. This one maybe says Mega Shua, for whatever that could mean. Um, then you've still got like steps one, two, three, four, but the rest of it is once again, just kinda, kinda a bit of nothing. So that's all I have in terms of uh, the writing. Something that was standing out to me though as well was the Etherston spoken language. 
So we first see it spoken uh, here by these two vegetables when they approach us. And once again, it could be gibberish, but there seems to be a bit of a pattern in terms of um, the the types of words used. Some of the words are repeated um, uh, across different people um, and so on. It just, it feels like it's a language that can be translated but I have had absolutely no success whatsoever in translating it. Not to mention you've got some problems like with the R here, which if it does translate doesn't quite make sense unless you're just, unless that's not translating because it's an onomatopoeia kind of thing. It's confusing. So you've got the vegetables speaking it here. You've got um, one of the Velakas saying it during this kind of ceremony. Uh, what else? Uh, you've got these two speaking it here. You've also got names in here. So Ziar is the name of the king. And you can see we've got words repeated. We've got um, Anam, uh, which was also said back uh, back here, which at first I thought would translate to human, given the context it makes sense. Uh, this is right after he's seen the picture and is realizing, oh, this log is actually a person, is actually a young girl. Um, and here he's presenting a human. Um, but putting that into the ciphers I was looking at just wasn't working for some reason. Um, what else? Let's see. Uh, I also, we have the, the speech that was uh, at the bottom of these two spells. It, it seems to me to be reasonably similar to um, the uh, Ithurstan spoken language we've seen before. Uh, just because it's got a lot of the IRs, um, it just, it seems familiar. They, they might be completely different, but uh, who knows? Um, I, oh, I also took a screenshot of this just because I was wondering if maybe there's something hidden in this, um, either hidden in this or whether their last name, uh, Buhalmet, was perhaps a translatable word as well. Um, because I, when I looked it up, Buhalmet seemed to only be associated with the sisters. It doesn't seem to actually be a traditional last name that I know of. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm just not... I feel like I'm missing something. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to maybe play a bit more. Perhaps there's a key later on in the game that I, don't, that I haven't found yet that I can keep an eye out for uh, that might help us. Um, I've also been having a bit of a look on discussion forums and unfortunately it looks like not much has actually been done in this department. There's been a bit of translation of the written language. Uh, I haven't seen actually any looking into the scientific journal. It's mostly just been the signs around the place. There's also apparently a, a storybook about some rabbits uh, that's also written in the Athurstan language that I didn't find. Uh, perhaps I haven't found it yet. Maybe it's coming later in the game. We did have, um, we did have uh, it would talking about him being afraid of rabbits. So maybe that's yet to come. I also saw in a discussion forum uh, someone mentioned something about a newsletter that they translated, uh, which I did not find anywhere in the game. Um, perhaps once again, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I also couldn't find any, any pictures of it when I was uh, looking it up, which I found very odd. But uh, they said that it was talking about a seed. And in that discussion form, actually, I think one of the, the producers of the game um, kind of commented on, on that and encouraged uh, looking at that, that perhaps it was hinting at the, uh, the seed from the uh, section with the sisters. Um, so I want to try and find that newsletter if I finish playing through the game and I don't find it anywhere in here I might even message that person uh to see if they can direct me to it because <laughs> I'm, I'm keen to figure out what's going on and hey if I get to the end of the game and I don't find any more any more clues to trying to translate the spoken language of the um uh, the Thurston spoken language I might even see if I can message Kill Monday Games and just see if I'm actually um barking up the right tree because it could be gibberish but it also could not be and considering this game came out five or six years ago and from what i've seen not many people have actually even attempted to really translate stuff for it um i feel like they'd be pretty 
keen to give me a little bit of a leg up if I'm willing to do the work for it, which I for sure am. But anyway, thank you very much for listening to my rant. I'm I'm excited about this law stuff and it's also very exciting when it's still kind of unsolved to a certain extent. But anyway, let's, I think, jump into the actual game and continue with where we were up to. Okay, so where we were last at, we just hopped on it Woods flying machine. We were doing a few different things like uh, looking at chemicals in this science experiment and so on. Um, and I, yeah, we're just going to jump right back into it after I have a sip of my apple juice. Ah, oh, damn, I love apple juice. Anyway, let's continue. Right, so we solved this one and we solved this one, which is great. Um, now, I guess we just go back because it looks like I can't go that way. Hey, dude. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, yeah, and we, saw, we played that little secret game. See, now I just want to click on absolutely everything because real, I really feel like I've just missed stuff. Oh, I forgot she's got a voice. Maybe some other time. I've forgotten her voice. Oh, no. Wait, I need to get her voice back. Oh, this looks very complicated. Something like that. Let's go find where it would went. Hey, dude. Cool, I'm gonna search this room fast. <laughs> clues, clues, clues. Oh, so many pages to read. I hope they have pictures. But letters are alright. They tell stuff to imagine. I, mis I misunderstand stories sometimes, and that can be a great danger. Okay, oh, this looks like a little theatre. Uh, uh, keyhole, very nice. Button? It feels like something is missing. And the keyhole requires a key for sure. And I don't have one of those. Well, that's something to look forward to, I suppose. This is fun. This lamp looks like a teapot with forks and spoons. It, and, it's, and it still does. Many things to look at. I don't think I need any of this. It makes me wonder. Fair enough. Is that, um, that's Ziar, the, the king. A clock. That's King Ziar. I recognize him. Hmm, I see now. They are friends. That's good. It makes me want to trust it would. Hmm, the, the way you phrased that felt ominous. I think this looks like a mathematical problem. But I won't try to solve it. I have other things to do. Uh, what is this? I wonder what kind of things this machine counts. It doesn't have wires. How does it work? Edward's technology is very amazing. Um. Any shoes? Maybe they're too tight for the big Itwood. Piles of shoes is kind of ominous. There are many woman's shoes too. Maybe it. Oh, God. Wait, what? Wait. Maybe. Okay, sorry. That just. Real bad vibes. Um. For sure. I mean, he might just be wearing them, and that's cool. But. My first instinct there is he has been kidnapping and killing women. Um, I wonder if it would really does love black cats. If these dolls represent Mr. Midnight, it would be strange. It is strange. Hmm. I want to go up here, but I think I might follow it would first. There, see? It's just sitting there. Isn't that a strange behavior? Oh, buddy. Okay, well, um, it could just be a toy, but I'm still kind of nervous that it's not. Okay. M maybe the rabbit is scared, and that's why it won't move. Would you be kind and try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. All right, sir. I'll, I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. Is it gonna, like, kill me? See? It's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fran. There's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, um... Excuse me? What? Don't go! Mr. Midnight, this is not funny. Um... Mr. Midnight, say something. Please don't take my kitty away from me again. Oh, he is a woman kidnapper. Open the door. Hello, let me out, you evil. Oh, okay. Oh no, am I gonna... Wait, let's look around the room first. 
I'm really worried what this room is gonna look like with the pills. Oh, helpful, thank you. These bulbs don't know whether to stay turned on or off. Hmm, hello, are you Edward's other head? I like the hat. Carrot, nice. Could help with the bunny. Oh, why did you scare Edward? Anyway, you are very cute. Um, uh, it won't turn on. What should I do? Buttons. I feel like I shouldn't press or pull anything yet. It looks like the machine needs some energy to wake up. Oh, great. Let's. I'm gonna hit it. I'm sorry. What? Oh, is that the bunny he's scared of? Oh, bloody hell! Oh, a mechanical rabbit is not very cute. Maybe the rabbit is angry or hungry, or both. Oh, what? Oh, it's just got a bow on its head now. There's an eye. The master eye, perhaps? These numbers on these signs, uh, do they look different? Yeah, it's six. Okay, interesting. Oh, maybe I should start pressing buttons. Okay, green. Okay. Oh, a mechanical arm. Are you alive? I think it likes to push buttons. I see. Hmm. No. Can, hmm. I just need to experiment for a little while, figure out how everything works, to wrap my head around it. That opens that. Uh, it seems I can't quite grab it in time, though. Yes. Okay. Well, let's try hitting buttons. When that thing is here. Oh, it looks different this time. It's got a little blonde wig. Oh. Oh, that's the, uh, five. No, no, six. It is six. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, see. This one is two. Uh, oh, nine. Yeah. Envy. This one here says eight, I believe. Or oh, ten. And it's got arrows. Oh, this is confusing. Eight. Let's see, I could lure the bunny somewhere with the carrot. Oh. Cool. Oh, here. Five. This here, by the way, is the, uh, the alphabet. Um, so, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, interesting. And then it looks like it just starts to repeat up there. Interesting. Maybe there is no power to make it work. What is that ticking I can hear? Only left and right. That's what you need to spin, uh, the order that you need to spin those in, maybe. Maybe I, I might go through and write them all down. Because I'm a nerd. There are also two eights. Oh. I see. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. So, one is... Eight. Left. <laughs> I got an achievement called Feeding the Robot Rabbit. Okay, and then five that way. Okay, so each of the numbers, so this one, uh, so the this one down here is normally one. Uh, each of them have a, a like um, a pill world equivalent number and direction. So one, two, three, four, five goes to eight right, five right, eight left, six right, nine left. So I'm thinking that's what I need to spin this through as, but how I get that, oh my god, it looks like me. Ah, terrifying. Uh, but how I do that is another story. Can I use my wrench on this? It looks like I might be able to. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Battery. Okay, so we know where the battery is. Wait, what did I say? 
This looks like a small ventilation swell. Something's missing here. Uh, yeah, so I need to get it from here. How do that? Oh, what? How did I do that? Well, alright. I guess I was just faster that time. Jeez. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay. Okay, come on. Wow. What does that do? Oh, it means I can spin this? Oh, not what I was expecting. Oh. Okay. Hi, parents. Am, am I still using my tablets? What's your symbol? Are you... Oh my god. Don't turn my parents into sushi. No comment, Fran? Mommy? Daddy? Who did this to you? Why are you here? Please tell me. Oh, let's let's not. Let's just take a break from that one. Yikes. Hello. There's nobody in there. What's this? Is this to make music with the wind? Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh, is this where I use I think this is where I use the thing. Okay, so let's go eight right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then five right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, is that not it? Oh! No, I did it! Oh my god, first try. Who's the best? It's me. Hi. Okay. Light. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, friend! Happy birthday! Oh, a birthday party? I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied in order to help you get your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. All right. Thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Sir Itwood. Itwood, Sir? Oh. The cake is made of all ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. That means all of us, naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go, all oh, the teddy bears. I hope you find it educational. Oh, is that a cat? Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead, open it. Oh, oh I love me the midnight toy. Wow, a cat doll. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know? Like the ultra reality. You mean like another layer, like the pills? Oh my gosh. Is that what happens when I take the red pills, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? <laughs> no, absolutely I would. Oh, yes, please. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm, I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe. I feel a bit dizzy. Ah, <laughs> that may be the ship going up and down. Blow out the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, Kitty? Yes, we are about to arrive. 
Really? Wow, how exciting! All right, here I go. Oh, bad things, bad things. Oh no, 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 no. Oh dear, what's happening? Mr. Midnight, are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. It would? Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was almost destroyed by the Kamalas. There is one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Fast. Uh, find it. Fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty. I'm scared. Me too, my Fran. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Uh, upstairs, I believe. That's my inkling, considering we saw water and stuff up here. It might be hiding from our eyes. Nope, never mind. Guess I was wrong. Um, sorry, what? Are you... Are you here to kill Edward? Hello? Why won't you talk to me? Very sorry for what I did. I, I hope you can forgive me. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh, I got the key. Oof. Uh, yay, maybe for this one? In a world made of darkness and light, Two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm, but none of the sides could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad, and this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds, it would, the creature of the night. He came always around in dreams or reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality, but they couldn't understand. It would was a friend. It would was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Itwood once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then Itwood came to visit for the last time, and he said, You are both trapped in the world of disconnections, but I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you, they sewed your bodies together to prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have and just one tiny little chance to understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking you have until the day a black cat goes missing and the world's magic door is unlocked. The end. Ooh, that was cool. Dang, I'm going to need some time to process that. So I, it, it seems it seems like they thought it would was the one that sewed them together. Uh, or that 
that cast a spell on them, but I don't think I think he was trying to help them. <sighs> okay, interesting. He's still here. Fair enough. Oh gosh. Hey bud. Oh jeez Louise. That's fun. Yep, no, bye. There you are. There you are, you bad thing. You're destroying our ship. Edward said you were dirty and I have to clean you up with water. Oh, okay. D oh, dang it. Okay, well, BRB, let me go get some water then, I guess. Okay. Yes, excellent. Oof, not happy. Are you good there, bud? Oh. Oh, don't run away. Where are you going? Hey, bud. Um, wait. Oh. Let's try there. Nope. Yes, come on. Dang it, one more. Come on. Die, you bastard. Here? Come on, that's gonna do it. Three times the charm. I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Itwood. Yes, that was the best. Well done. Hey, Mr. Midnight. Oh, Fran, we should get a ride. Just did, bud. I just did. I Okay, bye. That's fine, I guess. Uh, okay. Itwood, I did it. Itwood, sir. We did it. The Kamala is gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We are going down. Oh. No, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair. It's not fair. Oh, Fran. I will always take care of you, my dear child. Oh. Oh, it would. And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. Oh, jeez. Don't know how we're surviving that one. The end. Well, good game, guys. Oh, oh, uh, what? But that is a very sad ending, it would. Tell me another story, please. All right. This is the story of Fran, Bo, and me. When she promised never to forget me, or about the magic of everything. <laughs> I promise, Edward, I will never forget you. Good. Now it's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Oh, Edward. I really like him, he's cool. I don't think he kidnapped people. Part 2, Doctor's Prescription. Chapter 4, Part 2. Oh, hey dear. It was? Ow, Kitty, we are alive. We survived the crash. Oh dear, yes, we are alive. Hmm, but Itwood is gone. But he brought us home. We are outside the, outside the town, Fran. I can smell it. You sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Itwood is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took the... Oh, I took the pills already, you see. The bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe it will come to, come to me someday. This bike here is interesting, the crash. A red bicycle. Is this Itwood's bicycle or mine? 
Anyway, it's broken, so I can't ride it. It. I would need Itwood to fix it. He had lots of tools, but he's gone. Oh. Guess we're going home. Dang. This can't really be it, right? Oh my goodness. This is our street kitty. Hey, street. Yes, it is. This feels too, like, real. <laughs> It says Hay Street, then my house is in that direction. And here we are. This looks much more grey than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Aunt Grace? Hello? Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? N no, I, I don't have it, Kitty. But I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. Uh, pot plant. It's always in a pot plant, right? Nope. Oh, it says, I took the key, signed Fran. Fran? That's me! But I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. This is also confusing. What should I do now? Well, it looks like a bedroom window is open, so... Oh, that's the window to my room. Come here, Kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ah, <sighs> all right then. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Oh god, be careful, Mr. Midnight. I really hope there's not, like, a monster inside. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me, Kitty? Open the door. No. What are you doing here? Fran, I can't believe this. You were alive. Where were you? Get away from me! I won't go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time. How did you escape? That's none of your business. Leave now, please. Hmm, but why are you outside the house? Well, I, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, is, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you are here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. No! I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He is inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Oh my god! Hey, don't touch me! Oh! No! Mr. Midnight! Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, friend. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he... Really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum. Because I knew too much. I'm sorry, what? Then why did you pick me up? You're just... You're... I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. Fran Bow, 10 years old. Fran is now free from all pain. Oh, we hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Gladys, Gladys Hannah was um, the nurse that was taking care of us. Family murder on Hay Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Oh, so yeah, just like we saw it. Martin uh, and Lucia Bow Dagenart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hay Street. The investigating police officer Marco Holmer said it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced 
which would cause a quick instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister. Ah, oh, twin sister. Oh, twin sister. Oh, I can't think about that right now. That's too much. <laughs> The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder, frozen to death. Yeah, but that implies that the stuff in the asylum that happened, that uh, the, 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 the stuff that happened in the asylum wasn't real either, because I think we were supposed to be in there for months. It's the pentagram drawn. But what's this symbol down here? That's interesting. That is Hannah, isn't it? The nurse. Why did she get this letter? Oh, who told her this lie about me? I'm not dead. Or maybe the oh maybe okay so maybe the asylum they took she was put into the asylum and everyone just told her everyone was told she was dead. I'm not dead and I'm not free from all pain. Besides, pain is nice. It tells me that there is something wrong. At least they picked a nice picture of me. I'm smiling. Oh, mommy and daddy, I'm so sorry for what happened to you. I'll find the monster. I know he did this to you. Why would they say that about me? The world is full of lies. Oh, mummy, I recognize your hand. I wish I could feel your warm hands caressing my face. The symbol, I remember it. It was written with blood. Interesting. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplum... Plomatin were too high. Um, that's interesting. I don't know what that is, but I remember the word ecto being repeated a few times when uh, Ziyar was summoning like the seed from us when we were a tree. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the subconscious and the conscious. The problem is, if the ectoplomatin is too high, the door will be too wide. That can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be the consequences of the duotine. Nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I, I mean that you're imagining things, that's all. Oh my god, that really freaked me out. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again, my arms hurt. Oh my god. Ah, oh, jeez Louise, I need a second from that. Whew. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. What didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all this, the nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's the black monster, Remor. He told me my par he, he took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Athurster with Polontris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itwood or Polontris, and my kitty is all alone. Polontris? Itwood? Please, Fran. Polontris is the doc- oh, God, I'm getting their voices mixed around. Polontris is the doctor of Athurster. He is a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And, with, and it was my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father too. The, the twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Oh? Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you are misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. There we go. That's awful, sir. 
You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me, so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Pelantris was right about you. You are not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Oh, very dramatic. Oh. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. I will, but I'm gonna do it in the next episode. Sorry guys, it's just where I gotta leave it. My voice is starting to hurt from all of this talking. But thank you very much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully some of those little, little, um, lore bits were interesting. And if anyone has any ideas about those or solving them or any ideas of kind of approaches I could take or if you're taking your own approaches please do let me know um because I'm super keen to to see if there's any more to translate and so on uh yeah but this was lots of fun I hope you guys enjoyed it because I certainly did and I'll see you all in the next one bye guys <laughs>